It is now the third time an Indianapolis Catholic school has made headlines surrounding the employment of a teacher in a same-sex marriage. A high school teacher who is in a same-sex marriage is now fired. It comes following the direct guidance from the Archdiocese of Indianapolis. In a letter, officials say the decision comes after 22 months of dialogue with the Archdiocese. Archbishop Charles Thompson told the school they would forfeit their Christian identity and no longer be referred to as a Catholic school if they did not make this move. A lot of people see the Catholic Church and see it as very monolithic and, and um, kind of hierarchical, but they don't realize is in the world of Catholic schools, there are lots of different types of governance and ways the Catholic schools are operated. The 101-year-old school is affiliated with Holy Cross Brothers, but is independently run and depends on the Catholic Church to keep its nonprofit status. Without the Catholic Church, the school's funding future would be uncertain. And tonight, Cathedral students and alumni are reacting to this news one student tweeted out, I am disgraced and angered. I will no longer be donating to Cathedral. We must stand up against the Archdiocese and demand change. Another student writes, as a student of his, I am absolutely heartbroken and blindsided. I cannot stand to see such a great teacher leave under these circumstances. And on the other side, we are getting reaction as well. One woman writes, if the teachers and parents don't agree with the teachings of the Bible, then they should not be part of these religious organizations. Students and parents tell RTV6 Cathedral High School's decision and explanation behind the firing of a teacher in a same-sex marriage has been confusing. Working for you, we're taking a much closer look at what the school has been telling the public. In a public letter addressed to the Cathedral family and then posted on the school's website, Cathedral's board of directors explained a decision they call, quote, agonizing after firing a teacher in a same-sex marriage. The school says at stake is Cathedral's connection to the Archdiocese of Indianapolis. The school goes on to say it had to fire the unidentified teacher or it could no longer refer to Cathedral as a Catholic school and would also lose its highly valuable 501c3 status and would no longer be able to operate as a nonprofit organization. The 501c3 is an exemption which keeps the school from being required to pay federal taxes. RTV6 pulled state records from the Secretary of State's office and found that Cathedral High School has been incorporated as a nonprofit since 1972, a distinction held by the school itself, not the Archdiocese. We tried to dig deeper into Cathedral's tax records, but when we went to the IRS website to see how much, if any, money the school receives from the Archdiocese, we learned that they do not have to file that information because they are considered to be a church. We also reached out to Cathedral for further comment on this story, and they said all questions are being directed to the Archdiocese. This is not a witch hunt. We don't go looking for, for these situations. When they're brought to my attention, though, because I, as I said previously, it is my responsibility, my duty, to oversee uh, the living of the faith, especially for our ministerial witnesses. However, when we can only accompany people so far before uh, some some sad, hard decisions have to be made. I think sometimes people here accompany them and as we meet people where they are and just accept it right there, but we're called to do more than that. Uh, our society places great emphasis on tolerance, which is kind of like live and let live. But Jesus calls us to more than tolerance. Jesus calls us to love. And love is sacrificial. The issue is about the public witness with church teaching on the dignity of marriage as one man and one woman. My understanding is they're gathering to pray today. They're going to, like a human chain to pray. And prayer is always good. I've been praying for everyone throughout. It, I, I pray for everyone. 